I have a drive a 1950 Chevy, four door deluxe. And the uh, first time I got it, uh, it was in pretty bad shape. It took me a while to get it going again. First thing that I had to do was replace the transmission on it. After that, I had to do some parts of the engine. Just a few months ago, I just had it done, the body work and a uh, new paint job on it. The next step on this is upholstery. Uh, and the reason I love this car is because I was, I was brought up in that same time they were building the 1950s. And my goal was for a 1941 Chevy, but my, I'm very happy with this one here. And I get joy when I take it out and people say it's a beautiful car and give you a thumbs up. And just uh, the thing that I, I really love and I love to enjoy taking it out every weekend. My grandkids love it because they don't have to tie down the seat belts or nothing like that. You know, so every one of my grandkids want it. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. <laughs> I plan to rebuild the engine by uh, re-chroming that the valve covers, making it look more decent, you know, more more uh, showable. Make it look uh, resemble that you could pull the hood up and you know show it off, and uh, start taking it to car shows. And after that, it's going to be the upholstery, all the seals, you know, and uh, things that need to be done on the re-chrome, the bumpers, whatever needs to be done. It takes time, you know, so uh, I'm looking forward for that. God gives me enough time to live for to do it completely. I will do that. Fifteen years, actually, to restore it, to do everything that I had to do to it. Yes, uh, I'm doing this especially for my grandkids. And my, hopefully my son or somebody takes over the car and keeps it up and take care of it. That's what I want, you know that uh, for them to enjoy it as much as I do and uh, to uh, take it out and show it off you know and that someday they could enjoy this car as much as I do.